Hello, and welcome to the first installment of Ask Dr. Mike. My name is Pete Lowe, I'm lead designer on Swarm at Hothead Games. And I'm Mike Hayward, I did the AI for the game. It's Dr. Doctor Mike yeah. Hayward. Doctor, this is Ask Dr. Mike. All right, you have to call me doctor or I'll cry. That's right. Uh, Dr. Mike is responsible for what you see now. It's 50 Swarm mics on the screen and their ability to do this. You have direct control over 50 characters at once. You can move them around. So the idea is it's supposed to feel like uh, controlling a flock of fish or uh, a herd of little blue avocados with feet majestically sweeping across the landscape. Yeah. No leader there, just you're controlling all of them at once. Just sweep them around their environment. They'll, you can see them flocking around obstacles. They're doing all this on their own. Again, that's more Dr. Mike magic. I'm not going to ask him how that works. Though, I can I can read the code. In another video, I'll read the entire code for Swarm. All right, Dr. <clears> Mike, <throat> tell us, tell me, what can <laughs> these guys do? <laughs> Good question, Pete. They, they can move. They can huddle together. They can huddle together. They can spread apart, spread apart, which is good for collecting lots of collectibles all at once, or spreading damage between four mites, so not they don't all die at once, sure. which is bad. Avoiding splash damage, that kind of game. thing. Yes. Uh, what else can we do? We can <laughs> we jump? Can they jump? They can jump. They can jump a little. Excellent. Like that. They can jump a lot. They can chain jumps together in a little sort of sine wave, rainbowy, pretty cool looking wave yeah, look effect. That. Super. They can hop. Except you don't use that. Unless you hop and huddle at the same time. Well, look at that. Questions. We're not doing the question format. Oh, yeah, so what's this? What am I looking at? <laughs> I just did that. No, I just did what you said. Yeah. And, and look at that. And they're doing this. That is a stack. Excellent. Affectionately known as a totem. Look, I'm moving the stack too. Why, why is that happening? <laughs> Dr. Mike? <laughs> because the ones at the bottom are walking and the other ones are not. Cool. They keep their balance quite well. They do, unless you go too fast for too long, in which case... Oh, it falls collapse. apart. That's cool. Um, so, can these guys break shit? Can they... <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yes, they can break things open. <laughs> How does that work? How does that work? Uh, you just huddle them up and boom, like oh. a fist. Bash. So, Dr. Mike, what if I need to go quickly? I have to go quickly here. I know I have to. How do I do it? How do you know you have to go quickly? Well, because this bridge, as soon as I start walking across it, starts to collapse. Oh, better go quickly stuff's then. Stuff's so stuff's huddle, but and release the huddle, and that's a speed boost, oh. and, and you're running. Spread to get points. What about this? There's yeah. no way, there's no way, <laughs> Dr. Mike, <laughs> that I'm going to be able to get across this gap with a normal jump. Well, what you'll have to do is speed boost and then jump. All right. Like, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you may have noticed we've jumped ahead a little bit here. Dr. Mike, I have another question for you. Yes. What, first of all, what is this? That's great. Okay, and how do I, how do I break it open? Well, you can kind of push it around, but if you want to break it open, what you have to do is bash it by huddling and releasing the huddle, and boom! Look at that. Like a fist. Well, it looks like some sort of mice died there. A couple of them do, but hey, that's part of the game. All right, so I guess I do that here, too. This looks like something I should jump. Yes. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> hey, look, a stack of crates. Maybe if you stack up and then bash, you'll hit all the crates at once. A handy time saver when you're trying to beat the clock. Nice. Thanks, Dr. Mike. Let's wrap this up. Um, Let's conclude by ending. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Pete Lowe. And I'm Mike Hayward. This has been the first installment of Ask Dr. Mike. Thanks for watching. We love you.